That's an excellent question. How much did I try to emulate Robert Jordan's writing style? Oh yeah, we're getting a shot of the crowd for the internet folks. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I spent January, February, and March of 2008 rereading the entire series and taking notes uh, to augment the notes that he had left behind, to augment the outline, to really build what I what I. I felt this book needed to be, and during that time, I had to decide how much I was going to try to emulate him. And as I was working on it, I had flashes in my mind of stand-up comedians doing a parody of someone famous, an impersonation, and I thought, if I try to imitate him, particularly his prose, I think I'm going to fail miserably, for a couple of reasons, one of which being that he was a master of prose. He was a genius at it, and I don't think that can be imitated. I think instead, if I tried to do that, I would end up just having everyone fold their arms under their breasts and box each other's ears the whole time. Um, and, you know, his pet phrases would end up becoming crutches and cliches. Hey, how's it going? Um, this might be a good time to silence your cell phones. Thank you for the, the reminder. That's why he did it. Um, and so I eventually decided that I would not try to imitate Robert Jordan's actual prose. I decided that I would adapt my prose to the Wheel of Time, which is actually a different thing for me as a writer, in my head at least. Um, I decided I would write viewpoint as the Wheel of Time does. It uses a very intense third-person limited viewpoint that's very, very close to the narrator. I wanted to be able to do that instead. I also thought that I needed to beef up my descriptive abilities. Um, and, and use more description and use better, better description than I had before. Those are two of the main changes I made, um, but I did not try to imitate him. My, my big goal was, the thing I decided is, I wanted the characters to think and feel like themselves. And I felt that if I got that right, then people would be able to forgive the slight difference in the prose, the slight difference in word choice, and would be able to see through that and see the characters. Um, and so the, 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 most, um, the best things people have said to me that, that I really uh, appreciate hearing, and certainly you know, not everyone's going to think this way, but when people have said it, I, I felt that I, I did it right, is when people come to me and say, you know, when I started reading first chapter, I could notice, if I really paid attention, I could notice this wasn't Robert Jordan. But by the end of the first chapter, or the prologue, I was so into the story and characters, and they felt so right that I didn't notice anymore, and the rest of the book I didn't notice. That's what I'm hoping will happen. I'm hoping you will read the book and simply enjoy the story that Robert Jordan wanted you to enjoy, and then, being Wheel of Time fans like you are, you can then spend the next year picking it apart <laughs> and analyzing every sentence and deciding where I use trousers instead of breeches um, or, or whatnot um, when Robert Jordan would have used a different word. That's fine. That's what we do. You know, we, we spend years debating who killed Asmodian when it really doesn't matter that much um, because it's fun. Um, and so, but when you first read the book, I hope that you will simply enjoy it. That's why I'm not saying in very much detail what was me and what was Robert Jordan. Um, I will do that in more detail once the third book is out. Um, then I, li I want to be able to, uh, to be much more informative about that. I'll have to get permission from Harriet. But assuming she gives it, then I will then I will tell you which scenes were me and which scenes were Robert Jordan. Um, I have revealed partially because it, it came out at Jordan Con from something we did. The very first scene of the book, uh, the one about the farmer, if you read that in the prologue, was dictated by Robert Jordan on his deathbed when he was too weak to write. Um, we have an audio recording of it, and so that scene is his. Um, with very little intervention by me. Uh, there was some cleaning up that needed to do. It was a rough draft that he gave. Um, but it was, it was amazing to hear him actually speak that, that out. So if you want pure Robert Jordan, read that scene.